Hi everyone, my name is Tyler. Welcome back to my laboratory. Today we're going to be talking about short path distillation, the functions, the components, and the process of it. And then we're going to finish up distinguishing between full spectrum oil, broad spectrum oil, and tea free So let's jump right in. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about short path distillation today and what, uh, what the purpose of it is. So we use short path distillation to extract cannabinoids from the crude oil. So basically we're really doing um, refining operations uh, using the short path distillation system. Um, it's very similar to the chemistry that um, was used in the white film molecular distillation that I talked about in a previous video, uh, just on a much smaller scale. Uh, but you can also be a lot more precise with this um, equipment. So there's several different components of the equipment um, of this whole entire system. And so we'll start off from the beginning. Uh, first piece that we have here is a low temperature coolant circulation pump. And this is used to keep the condenser, which is right here, um, cool. Uh, and what this does is it takes the vapors that are created by heating up crude oil in this boiling flask um, and it turns them back into liquids. So as mentioned, we have a boiling flask here inside of a digital heating and stirring mantle. And what's going on in here is we put crude oil in here, we stir it at specific settings. As you can see here below, we have it at 330 RPM and 237 degrees Celsius. And what that does is that heats up the cannabinoids to the point of vaporization. They turn into vapors. They go up the distillation head. They hit the cooler temperatures at the condenser right here, cooled off by the chiller. And once they turn back into a liquid, they come down into this thing called a cowbell. And I can only hear the comments and jokes from here. So, so get them all out of your system now. Yes, we all need more cowbell. So what the cowbell has is you have your head and then you have your three main collection flasks. And in each collection flask, you'll be collecting something differently. In the first collection flask that you see in the background, kind of a, like a dark nastier color, uh, you're collecting heads. And what's in those heads is any ethanol that wasn't recovered during the rotary evaporation process. There's a little bit of uh, terpenes, some fats, some waxes, some lipids. A little bit of CBD comes through here, but really this is junk. The second collection flask that we have is um, our mains. This is the good stuff. This is where we're collecting a majority of our CBD. And as you can see, it's pouring in there nice and smooth right now um, in a nice golden color. That's, that's what you want to see. In the third flask, which we haven't started using yet, we use that at the end, we're going to collect our tails. These also contain some cannabinoids, uh, but you're starting to get a really dark color, um, which you really don't want in there, um, and, and you're starting to collect a little bit more of some of the undesirables that are left behind in the crude oil. Um, after your cowbell, yes, we all need more of it, you'll see a cold trap. And this cold trap is designed to protect our rotary vane vacuum pump that we have down below here. And this cold trap is, on top has a mixture of ethanol and dry ice. As you can see, it's sort of bubbling right now, right? Like it's not boiling, it's just really, really cold. And that's what ethanol does when it gets, uh, it's probably below... 30, minus 30 Celsius right now. Um, and so that cold trap is making sure that any vapors that didn't turn into liquid in the cowbell are turning into vapors before they make it to the rotary vane vacuum pump. If they didn't, then it would end up potentially damaging the rotary vane vacuum pump. So this vacuum, what it's doing is it's lowering the atmospheric pressure of the entire system so that the cannabinoids don't have to reach as high of a temperature in order to convert from liquid to vapor. Uh, and the reason why we want them to convert to a vapor at a lower temperature is because we get to have um, degradation of those cannabinoids 
at a higher temperature, and we want to avoid that uh, so that we can have higher quality. And we're wrapping up this session by talking about the difference between full spectrum, broad spectrum, and T-free or isolate oils. So full spectrum has terpenes, CBD, minor cannabinoids, and a small amount of THC. Uh, what I'm making right now is full spectrum stuff. Broad spectrum includes terpenes, CBD, and minor cannabinoids, but no THC. An isolate, or tea-free, includes no terpenes, no minor cannabinoids, no THC, and only CBD. That wraps up this session. Thanks for joining me, and come back again later on. Have a great day.